Hey guys, Darren from Aaron's Outdoor, and today I'm on quite the adventure. I'm at the Flint River, which is a famous shoal bass river. I caught my first shoal bass three years ago, and I am just now fishing the Flint River for the first time. You know, shoal bass are pretty much my favorite species of fish to catch, and this river is super famous for them. It's got some big giant shoals we're going to be fishing today, but I'm already running into some problems. So I just went down a super long gravel road. And I'm fishing today with Firebird Austin, who's another YouTuber I've fished with quite a few times. But he told me to go right at the fork in the road, which I did. And I ended up here, which the road just ends. So I think I maybe should have gone left and not right. So I'm going to try that here in a second. And he's about 30 minutes behind me. So I think I'll be seeing him here soon. And we're not actually doing a float today. I think we're just going to put our kayaks in and kayak through some shoals and fish through some shoals and hopefully be on some big shoal bass. All right, well, quick up, update. I'm here with Austin and a couple of his friends, Jess What's and up? Daniel, who's back there, but they eventually found me. I wasn't sure if Austin would find me or not because there's no service, um, but he eventually found me. We've got our kayaks in here. We're actually launching a little creek and then going in the river. And one of my goals for today is to catch a 20 inch sholey. I don't know if it'll happen. If I stick to big baits, there's probably a better chance of me catching them, but it's, I don't think I'm gonna stick to big baits the whole time because I want to catch a lot of fish because this is my first time on the Flint, so I don't know. We'll get out here and we'll see what happens. Oh, I got a fish. Uh, I caught a sunfish on the Chapo. It's like my third cast or something. Well, I got stuck on my first cast. We're in this creek still. And I caught a little red breast and he's actually in the mouth and stuff. I mean, I've caught a handful of these guys on the chop of before. Definitely not what we're after, but at least I got a fish really fast. I mean, I'll take it. Got one. On the hooker, mate. There we go. First fish of the day. Ooh, he's not bad either. Ooh, he's a decent one. Probably 15, 16 incher, at least. Come on, buddy. Oh, he's not bad. All right. First fish of the day. I've got my kayak tied to me. Ooh, which probably isn't necessary. Man, he shook off right there. I was trying to keep pressure on him. But uh, that might be a 15 incher. Not bad. Maybe, maybe 15 and a half little pound and a quarter shoal bass probably that's what we're after i mean obviously we want the bigger ones but i'll definitely take that it's not a bad first fish oh whoa wow look at that snake right there oh my gosh there's a snake eating a catfish it's hard to see right now because it's partly underwater but i was just walking right there i think that's just a banded water snake but man this guy was 15 and a half inches so not a bad fish at all to start the day and there's a snake just gorging on a catfish right behind me. It's like a little bullhead or something that he's eating. But cool little shoaly there, really dark. I mean, uh, these are definitely a shallower water than the ones I'm used to catching in the mountains. Or I, I guess it's at least sunnier, so he's definitely darker because of that. But beautiful little fish to start the day. Oh, there he goes. I got my sunglasses on. Y'all might be able to see the snake a little better. He's got his he's just eating the head of the catfish so that's kind of that's kind of concerning i don't want to get bit by one of those i think it's a banded water snake but i'm not sure it's a nice little thank you oh oh my gosh he's tiny <laughs> i hook at him way out of the water it looks like a good little spot there's a little overhang underwater here all right well he might be tiny a lot smaller than the first one I caught, but it's another fish, another one of the target species. I mean, there's just a little overhang with a lot of current. It looked like a good spot for a bass to be hiding, so. We got one. It's going. You what? Aaron? Yeah, you see my channel? Okay, cool. This is my first time on the Flint. Yeah. Okay, sounds good. What was your name? Larry. Larry, nice to meet you. Yeah, man, good luck. Thank you. I should have cast it right there. 
Oh. Yeah. Looks good, huh? Yeah, that's a good. I'm still gonna cast her, actually. Oh, yep. Yeah. Got one. I said it looked good, and I should have cast it there. Oh gosh, he's got me all tangled up. Uh, not. Nah. Oh my gosh, there's one following it. He's like 14 or so. Yeah. He's like 15 actually, but not bad. Yeah, about a 15 incher. I literally said that spot looked good. I, I should have uh, casted at it from further away, but I still got one there. All right, well this guy was pretty much exactly 15, so not a bad fish. We've got a 15 and a half and a 15 and one tiny one, but uh, I need to let this guy go. And I, I called that catch. I mean, it just looked like a perfect spot. Anyway, I'll let this guy go. This guy's a little lighter coloring than the last one. There's one right, right behind that rock. All right, third biggest of the day. Smaller one, but not like teeny tiny. Well, there's a little guy, maybe 11 inches, but it's another fish that Helgramite's definitely working. I mean, the Helgramite's a good numbers bait that can also catch big ones. You know, I'd probably be more likely to catch a big one on a big lure, but for now it's fun just catching fish on this thing. All right, another little guy. A bit more of a darker color, not quite as dark as the first one. But, you know, the, the shallower water, I mean, a lot of times it'll just be a little darker. Yeah, it's already one o'clock. Yeah. Oh. Little guy. Actually, I don't know how little he is. Not terrible. Oh my gosh. Sound like a 13 incher, but you really got to get, get a good hook set with the uh, Nico Helgramite because it's such a tough plastic. That time it definitely went up my hook, but. Got one. Spot looked good. Ah, no. Little guy. Man. Whoa. He's hooked in the top of the head. I mean, he pecked at it. Oh, well, he just shook out, but he was like hooked on the top of the head. I mean, he definitely hit it. But there's just a little tree in the water over there. And, you know, a lot of times they'll sit right under a log. So I'll take it. Another smaller one, maybe. 11 or 12 inches it's crazy i can see like uh five people fishing right in front of me they're probably all in the frame of the camera definitely busy out here we're still catching them and people are saying they're catching them so Got one out of the shoals. Oh, not bad. Man, might be like a, might be a 14 incher. Well, <laughs> maybe 12 and a half, not 14, but man, I think it's fish number six. I think they're gonna be loaded in these shoals. I mean, it's just like perfect conditions. Even though there's a ton of people out here fishing, you know, I'm still catching a good amount, so. That's pretty awesome. Not everybody throws the Helgramite, but it uh, definitely works. They're missing out if they're not. Anyway, I'll let them go right here. On the Helgramite, another little guy. Bunch of little like 12-ish inches. Oh my gosh, that one. That one I didn't hook set enough. Look at that. The hook wasn't even penetrated. That's the only bad thing about this Nico Helgramite. It's like, it'll last forever. It's super durable, but the plastic is so hard. I don't know. Part of me wishes this was a bit of a softer plastic sometimes. They all seem big, it's not that big, but. He's probably like 16. That, I think would've been my biggest of the day. I mean, it wasn't like crazy huge, but it's probably around 16. Yeah. 
Oh, oh yeah, there he is again. Got him. Oh. Please don't jump. Do not come off. It's not that big, but it's not bad. Please don't come off, fish. I got so many bites right there. He's like 15. Oh, yeah. I got to keep pressure on him. I reeled in too much. Nice, dude. <laughs> All right. I, I lost two right here. Had so many like bite and didn't get hooked. Finally got one. It's like a 15. Maybe 14.75, but we'll take him. Yeah, my other camera's still going. Yeah, I, I tightened my drag so many times because they kept coming off on this Helgramite. This one hook got hooked super well, though. He was not coming off. I think I know what I'm talking about. I said he's 14.75. Actually, he's 15, just barely. All right, we got another 15 inch. We, we're getting so many bites up in here. Um, so they're definitely kind of loaded. The middle of the shoulder just gets deep with a bunch of boulders that they're hiding behind. And uh, we're definitely on some fish here. Unfortunately, I missed the one before this that was probably at least 16. It would have been my best of the day. Is that on your macro? Daniel's got a big one. Just got in the net. Oh my gosh, Jesus. We think it's 20? <laughs> Okay, 17 inch, that's still good. But I fished him enough where I can, I can tell in his voice. Oh gosh. I got one. I was slipping when I hook set it. It's not that big. Oh, don't jump. It's like 15, maybe 15 and a half. Probably 15. Oh, come on. Oh my gosh. I'm trying to not lose pressure. I'm like slipping on this rock. Oh, he's, he might come off. Oh my God. <laughs> there we go, there we go. He might be 15 and a half, maybe just 15. Imagine it was the same fish. He's like literally the same size. All right, caught another one in the same spot. That's pretty much the same size. Daniel over here just caught like a 17 inch on the mag draft. I might want to try the mag draft some later, but for now the Helgramite's catching him, so. I'm just gonna stick with it. Oh, he's small. He's 14 and three quarters. Well, maybe 15. All right, another 15 incher. There he goes. I may have just had a fish bite. They, the three of them moved up there and they're catching fish up there, but this spot just seems so good. I, I think there's gotta be more to be caught right here. Oh, that's a fish. Yep. That's why. I knew there's more to be caught here. It's pretty small, but I'll take it. Oh, well, another small one there. Oh, I kind of dropped him in the water, but I caught him. So I, I literally just said there's more fish to be caught down here. And there definitely was, even though he was kind of small. There's got to be more down there. So drop in the Helgramite, let it do its thing. Oh, he's bit it. There you go. Another small one. Ooh, well, I'm like waist deep and it's a lot more than waist deep right in front of me. And there's definitely some fish down there. It's another small one, but I mean, I don't really feel like moving if they're gonna keep biting right in front of me. So that's fish number 10 of the day. This is probably already my best day ever as far as the amount of shoal bass I've caught in a day. I definitely got close to 10 before. But I don't think I've caught 10. There's a, I remember there was a float I did last summer where I caught 11 bass, but I definitely caught at least a couple spotted bass. So, man, and I, we're, we have so much more time today. So I think this is going to be quite the record day for me when it comes to uh, shoal bass fishing. Oh, gosh. Got a nice one, I think. Uh, actually, I don't know. He's nice if he's running at me, which he kind of is, but he's not that big. He's like 12 and a half. A little bigger than the last few we caught. Dude, I've caught like so, I've caught five out of this one little hole, I think now. All right, dude, this is crazy. I mean, even though they're small like this, it's fun just catching fish after fish. This water is like, it's so warm for uh, a river. Like I'm so used to fishing up in the mountains I'm fishing some real cold water. Like, I don't even... This water feels warm to me. <laughs> I'm just not used to uh, 
fishing down here, but there's another little guy. Watch him swim off. There's a fish. Uh, I just retied. I noticed a knot in my uh, fluorocarbon, so I just, and it was all the way at the end of my leader, so I just tied a new leader knot on. Gave the fish a little break. Caught one on my first cast. Okay. Does that count? It was in the kayak. I'm counting it. It was in the kayak for like a few seconds. It's fish number 12 that I've landed. I don't know. Sometimes I don't count unless I touch it, but ah, that was like in the kayak. I'm counting it. Oh, I just had one bite a few times. Oh, he's biting again. Oh gosh, might be good. He's not that big, but he's better than the last few we've caught. Don't come off, man. Ah, uh, he's decent. Ooh, don't come off. He's probably at 15. Not bad. Ooh, not bad. He's like another 15-ish. I think my camera's still going. I've caught so many out of this hole. I mean, I'm kind of falling behind the rest of the crew, but I'm still catching them, so... I might have to stay down here a little bit longer, and that is probably might be tied for the biggest of the day. He's probably like 15 and a half. He might barely be 15 and three quarters. All right, another beautiful shoal bass. That guy was the longest of the day. He was like, he was over 15 and a half. If he pinched his tail right, he might have been 15 and three quarters. But another good one from the same hole. There's one. Oh, this little shallow area. Oh, don't jump, bud. Not a bad one. About 15. Caught a bunch around 15 today. Well, he might not be 15. He's at least 14 and a half, though. And I've caught 14 now. All on this Nico Helgramite, the exact same one. What'd he say? What the? This really durable plastic is good because it can last super long, but you know, sometimes like what happened earlier, you will miss a few more fish every once in a while. Well, he's about 14 and a quarter. He might be like the fifth biggest of the day, but apparently uh, Daniel and Jess have caught 12 in that same spot up there. That's what they just yelled down to Austin. So <laughs> I guess I need to get up there and start catching some. There's that guy goes. Oh, come on. He bit it a couple times. Dang it. Had a couple bite right here. There's something bite a couple times. Oh, there he is. Oh, come on. There's one. Man. A little guy. All right. Well, I guess the fish are probably loaded up there, but there's still a few right here. This is one of the smallest of the day. But that's number 15. I mean, this place is insane. It's just so much water to fish so many shoals and a ton of shoal bass this is like probably my favorite place i've fished oh my gosh next cast jeez there's a good bit of fish here too i guess this guy's a bit bigger than the last one might be like a 13 incher Number 16. I definitely want to get to 20. I mean, we should at this pace. Well, oh, maybe on the way back, I'll fish where Jess is fishing. Please land it. <laughs> it's not that big, but... Oh, actually, it's not bad. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, there's some following it. At least one other. I mean, he's at least 15. I've caught so many 15 inches, but nothing, like, big. Well, there's number 17 for me. Jess is like killing it down there. He's almost at 30. 
I think Daniel has 15 and Austin has about close to 15 probably. All right, well this guy was about 15 and a quarter. One of the better ones of the day. I'd love to get at least one over 16. I mean, you know, I probably should just commit to big baits if I really want to do that, but ah, I love my Helgramite. Dang, another little guy. 18 if I get him in. All right, touched him, 18. I've caught a ton that are like this size today. Oh wow, this one's got like a really messed up jaw. This one like can't even open his mouth. He's really deformed or something. It's weird looking. Look how tiny his mouth is. Super weird mouth on that guy. I took a few pictures. Let him go. Oh, got one right there. Not bad. Barely got hooks set on. Please don't come off. Oh gosh. Man, it, it's just starting to rain a little. Got another one around 15. So many 15 inches. Um, this guy hit right when it started raining. I'm gonna let him go. Oh, I had a little one hit it. Oh yeah, I see one right there. There's one right over here. Oop. There we go. Oh man, I don't even think that's the same fish. There was another one that was bigger than this that hit the bull shad. So I threw the uh, Helgramite in there and that's fish number 20. I really wanted to get to 20 fish. Now that I had one hit the bull shad, that wasn't even that big. I still see it, it's like circling around right there. I might need to uh, switch to that bull shad, but even though this guy is tiny, it's a special fish because it's number 20. Oh, there he goes, he's looking at it. There we go, got the bigger one. Oh man, he came off. Ugh, that fish is, just sitting in the same spot. Oh my gosh. Oh my. I don't think I had my drag set. Dang it. My drag was super loose. Oh my gosh. There's one. Just about ripped the rod out of my hands. I know I said I was going to use the bull shad, but. I wanted to just use the Helgramite. Oh wow. Not a bad one either. He's got a weird sore on him. Jess was catching so many in these like tiny little pockets. He had kind of already fished them all earlier, so I don't want to fish them like right after he had, but now that it's been a little while, I might actually be able to catch some there. This guy could be the longest of the day for me, but I doubt it. He might just be like 15 and a half. Yeah, he's 15 and a half, so, well, a little over. Probably my second biggest of the day. Well, that's a pretty solid one. I, you know, I haven't caught any big ones today, but I've caught, you know, a handful of 15 or so inch fish, which are decent ones. Oh my gosh, little guy. I think there's so many in here. Like Jess was just sitting in these little areas earlier, catching them like crazy. Maybe tomorrow, I think we're fishing here tomorrow. Like maybe I'll actually commit to big baits then, I don't know. But I am just getting so many bites on the Helgramite. So I can catch fish anywhere on this thing. Man, and their teeth are so sharp. I've got like the worst bass thumb ever. I'm not even gonna lip him, I'm just gonna let him go. Oh, there's one on the chop, though. Finally got a bass on the chop, but oh, wow. Never mind. I've caught two fish on the chop today, and they're both red breasts. This one's not even in the mouth, but a lot of times when red breasts hit them, they won't be in the mouth. <laughs> My only two chop fish of the day are a little red breasts, but pretty little fish still. Let's see if I can fit through this skinny little area. This is so cool, like, 
kayaking in areas like this. Oh! Oh, I want to hit it. Right by the log. Oh, man. Got one. Oh, barely got a hook set on him. Well, surprised I actually got him in considering how many have come off today, even when I do hook set really well. And we're moving. This could be a problem. Oh, gosh. All right, fish number... 23 there. I'll let him go. There's one. Oh my gosh. There's definitely some more fish under this tree. <laughs> Number 24. It'd be insane if I could hit 30 today. Oh my gosh. Well, <laughs> I was just about to talk to the camera, but whatever. There's one out of this he's grass. Can't tell how big he is. I don't think he's that big. It's not bad. Another roughly 15 incher, I think. Oh. I can't believe I haven't caught a single bass over 16 inches. Like, yeah, the Helgramite's a small lure, but most of the time, the big fish will still hit the Helgr Helgramite. That definitely hasn't been the case today. This is another one that's probably right around 15 inches. But I mean, even if I haven't caught anything big, like I think all the other three guys have caught bigger fish than I have. But I, I think I've caught like the second most. Jess is just wearing them out. Like he had 32 like an hour ago and I'm at 25 right now. So I have no doubt he's catching more than me today, but I really can't complain. This is my best day of troll bass fishing ever by far. Well, it's tempting to want to fish here longer, but it looks like Everybody I'm with is a good ways down river of me, so I ought to just go down there, I think. It's a good little drop right here. Ah, it's what the Sholey's made for. Well, I wouldn't always go down this, but screw it. Ah. Today has been so awesome. And this is just the first day of fishing here. I think Austin and I, I mean, unless he's too tired, we were planning on fishing tomorrow. So, I mean, you know, part of me wants to drive home, but if we're all, all the way down here already, like, I think we gotta just come out here and fish again tomorrow. A fish, got one. Oh, he's real small, might come off. Oh, I actually got him in. Crazy day, 26. I don't know if I'll get to 30, but. So, a lot of the ones we've caught have been about this size today, but I mean, I can't complain. This day has been amazing. This is just an awesome, awesome way to spend the weekend. Oh, that's where I caught one earlier. 27, maybe we'll get to 30. It's gonna be close. We don't have a ton of water left and pretty much from here up was, is where I caught all but two of my fish earlier. So, I don't know. It's gonna be close. There's 27. There's one. Oh, don't come off, don't come off. Oh, he's not bad. Bigger than the past few we've caught. Ooh, that's number 28. I'm falling behind everybody, but I, I'd love to get to 30 fish. There's a little like 13 inch, a little better than, the, ah, the past few we've caught. I'm not the worst bass thumb I've ever had, but it is so worth it. And what is absolutely insane is that the, I've caught 28 shoal bass today on this exact Nico Helgramite. And I had it tied on from a previous day and I caught some fish on it that day as well. So I've caught over 30 bass, 30 shoal bass actually, on this exact Nico Helgramite. I mean, they are insanely durable, even though they've kind of, I feel like they've caused me 
to lose a few fish today. I mean, that's insane to have a bait that lasts that long. It's pretty much gonna last until you lose it. You know, usually I lose them before I uh, tear them up, but there's a decent little one. No way, that's fish. Oh my gosh, 29. Get in here. He's tiny. That was my next cast, actually. Oh, we gotta get to 30 now. We just got three real fast. Well, this is my best day of troll bass fishing in my entire life, by far, at least numbers wise. But hey, I'll take him. Well, I think I gotta go back down now. It's about 8.15. I know the other three guys are way ahead of me, so. Might have to fish the Chapo. It's only caught me two red breasts today. I mean, I haven't thrown it much at all, but hopefully I can get one Chapo bass to hit number 30. Oh, there's one. Don't come off, don't come off, don't come off. Yes, dude. Oh my gosh, it's a spotted bass. I have not caught a single spotted bass today. I was amazed that I hadn't. It's 30 bass, but it's not 30 shoal bass. I don't know, maybe we'll have to catch a shoal bass. And these spotted bass are not native here, so I'm probably just gonna kill this one. Well, killing this guy really doesn't do much, but in a really awesome shoal bass river like this where these spotted bass are not native, it's, I just don't think it's worth releasing them, so. Oh, there's one. Be a showy. Be a showy. Let's go. We have caught 30 shoal bass today now. That's insane. 31 bass. This is like, even though I've caught a ton of tiny ones, like, you know, I've already said this a thousand times, but it's just insane. I think the conditions were really good for today. You know, I don't know if this river is always like this. I mean, this is literally my first time fishing this river and I caught this many. Well, that's Sholey number 30. And he's pooping out something, that's weird. Oh, there's one. Man, they're just gonna start hitting the top water now. Ooh, this one's actually decent. Oh, I hope they didn't come off, but barely hooked. Ah, oh, he's barely, barely hooked. There we go. <laughs> Bass number 32. And he's actually, he's actually pretty good. Well, there's a decent one. I'm not gonna put him on the board, but he's probably at least like 14 and a half inches. Not a bad one. Oh, there's one. Wow, it's not even that bad. Oh right next to the boat. He's not hooked super well. Uh, oh yeah. Hope going down this rapid backwards. I'm good. All right, this guy might be a little bigger than the last one. Yeah, he's like a, he's like a 15 incher. I've caught so many that are like 15, but not a single one over 16 inches. All right, well this guy was about 15 and a quarter, so probably a top five fish for the day. All right, y'all, well, Jess is over there. Daniel and Austin are both right here. But today was an incredible day, all combined. Like, Jess caught like 40, I caught 33. They each caught about 20, so that's over 110 bass that we caught all together. So honestly, it was an insane day. I caught 33, I don't know if I'll ever catch that many in a day again. I probably will eventually, but it's. I think it's gonna take a while. Uh, to break that so all right well that's the end of the video both austin and daniel have channels that i'll put down in the description but hope you guys enjoyed this one it was an incredible day out there even though i didn't catch anything too big i just caught so many fish it was pretty amazing so hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did don't forget to hit that like button down below and subscribe to my youtube channel if you haven't already but i'll catch y'all in the next video thanks for watching